This is the fourth time I've tried to do this. It's another podcast from the AML Network, high atop the Stuart L. Sterling Building in downtown Busted Knuckle, Kentucky. This is Viewer Post Vacation Cruise number 36, and the reason I'm doing this quick intro is because it's the last podcast that our buddy Boston Joe participated in. He had become a great friend of mine and the podcast, and I guess we're just going to have to go on, but that's it. That's all I got to say. That's the best I can do. April 6th. <laughs> April 6th? I, 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 yeah, I we, scrolled too, but I didn't want to say anything. Oh, uh, you guys pre-scrolled? <laughs> yeah, well, we but we said that the other night we were going to do it again, so we knew where we left off. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't pre-scroll yet. So, you guys, uh, how, uh, you guys, as I turned it on, you guys were talking about Tom's tattoo. Still? It's like three, weeks no, late, no, three no, four was, weeks later, and we're still talking about it? Well, I was seeing how it was doing. You, yeah. you know, it's become it's become part of the crew, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's, it is. It's right? become infected and septic and it's oozing goo. <laughs> <laughs> you got too close to the couch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, when did, how long ago did you get it, Tom? It was a week ago tonight. Oh, okay. You're like one brave guy. Three and a half hours. Like my like I said, your tattoo makes my three tattoos look pathetic. I have three tattoos, but the little dots they put on me for nuking me when I have my prostate cancer treatment. Oh, uh, yeah. But that's and old. those are the that's, only tattoos I'll have. That's old news because you survived that and everybody lived happily exactly. ever after. Indeed. You know what I heard the other day? Uh, no, what did you hear the other day? From a practitioner nurse that was very despondent at the beginning of my escapade was that they think it's possible that in 10 years immunotherapy will replace chemotherapy. Well, that's the uh, that's the rumblings that they're fig- figuring out. The more they do it, the better it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then, then something else will come along for, and something else make- even better will come along. Well, yep. no, I'm talking about some some other disease will come along and take the cancers. <laughs> and now, <laughs> and now, yeah, a word. And now a happy word. From, and, yeah. and now a word from Mister Sunshine. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's nat- it's nature's way of dealing with us <laughs> us, uh, paras- us parasites, right? Oh, oh calling god. the herd oh my yeah. god so then anyways i got i got my layout built but it wasn't i i found one spike that was out of place so i took so it I, out again so i ripped it all out yeah, i ripped it all again. out and i started hey, I, again <laughs> i'm not i'm not spoon <laughs> oh are we are week recording <laughs> I put I put the layout in my basement, but I didn't paint the ceiling, and now yeah. I'm not happy, so I'm tearing it all out. I'm going to paint the ceiling, but now I'm Shame. not happy with how the ceiling looks. And yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it all done in scenery, and I don't like the railroad, so I'm changing the road names. Yeah, exactly. And yet the answer to your question, uh, Kelly, is yes. Oh, good, good. So we're, it's good for posterity. Absolutely. But, but uh, Bruce, if you could help me out here, is this the first podcast since the last podcast, or did we do in one in between? Oh, let me look. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. It, okay, perfect. Yes. yes, yes, yes is the answer. So where did we leave off? Because did... I have no idea where the hell this is going to show yeah, up. Yeah, so exactly. The answer is we yes. Left, <laughs> we left off with Raymond. St- we left off with the little Mikey. That's when we did about oh, okay. the April April fourth. He All was right. wiring feeders. Uh, that's and right. then we talked. And then we talked about that. So it's Raymond Stewart. April sixth with Gordy. That's where we start, I guess. So what's happened over the last couple of weeks since we last talked to you guys on your post vacation cruise? Well, I had I had a water emergency at the park. Oh, did oh. you really? Oh no! Yeah, my uh, my uh, guy that mows the lawn. He's a he's a good guy. He's got a heart of gold, but he doesn't pay attention too much. Yeah. And, uh, unfortunately, the person that put in black pipe for irrigation along the fence didn't bury it deep enough, and or didn't bury it in the grass where, where he was supposed to. And my guy came through with the mower, and it caught the. 
hose and he pulled the faucet right out of the ground. Now, didn't you have another one of those not that long ago? Yeah, I have. Well, I, usually it's a sprinkler head, so I can just yeah. shut the system off. Well, this one, it, it was before the, the shut off to the sprinkler system. Oh, perfect. So I had a, I had a fountain in the park about uh, five feet tall and about three feet wide. Yeah, so you're looking for a new guy to mow the lawn now? No, 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 no. It was it wasn't really his fault. But, uh, yeah, not I, not not only was it not buried deep enough, it wasn't buried at all. Well, no. <laughs> and, well they uh, say that adding a water feature can dramatically enhance your property's value. That's oh true. yeah, it definitely did. It definitely did. So I had to uh, make some hurried phone calls to the city to find out who handles uh, irrigation, and everybody was on voicemail so i couldn't get anybody and finally the guy showed up and we started talking he says yeah there's a shut off somewhere he's been there <laughs> since 95 but you know what let's go out to the main one so we went out to the main one he showed me how to shut it off and he said you know make sure when you turn this off if you have to do it is you make sure you don't turn it on fast i says i know all about that water hammers yeah so he said you'll blow faucets and stuff out of the bathroom and everything so i so, said well that's not gonna happen so explain a little. So you're saying that when you turn it back on out at the street. What happens when you have high, you know, larger pressure than what comes out of your faucet on a water line? Um, or can if we, you have a pump, you have we, a pump, for example. Can, yeah, we, go on. can we get just back up? So so the guy turned it off at the street. Oh, yeah. At the, well, in the parking lot where we had. Yeah. The park, yeah, yeah. So, so, so you're yeah. going to turn it on and it's in, and there's enough pressure. It's city pressure. and there's City enough, pressure, right. It's a larger larger diameter pipe to a smaller diameter pipe, and if you if you turn it on real fast, it puts pressure through that pipe, and somewhere along the line, it, it stays it on might. permanently. Yeah, it yeah. does. It, it blows up real good. Yeah, oh, there's Joe. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's got his Red Shock shirt on. Hi, everybody. I was in the studio next door filming my holiday special when I figured <laughs> I should pop over here and wish everybody a Merry Christmas. <laughs> is that the is that a Christmas shirt? Well, I, theoretically, it could be. Yeah, Red Sox Christmas. So they don't were... play baseball in December twenty on December twenty fifth. So didn't Jimmy Stewart star in that movie? Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Jimmy Christmas, Walker. Merry Christmas, Mister Potter. Merry Christmas, George Bailey in jail. <laughs> Is the button on? What do I got to yeah. do? What do I got to do to get uh, Joe to do more commercials? Because Joe, you are unbelievably yeah. entertaining. Yes. Don't talk about me like that. Yeah, yeah. Does it hurt, does it hurt your feelings? Hmm? Does it hurt your feelings? Well, if I read too much into it. I I, <laughs> I actually We're I, not laughing at you, we're laughing with you. Yeah. That's right. I don't <laughs> I don't I don't know when this will happen. I have no idea when this will happen. So don't everybody get themselves all worked up into a lather. <laughs> I mean, you don't know. How can you not know? Oh, Lord. Oh, but I was, I, was actually, I was actually looking at the kind of headsets they use, like, you know, on, on NFL football and that for Joe. To get him, oh, yeah. like, the best headset I could possibly get him. Right. So that he would sound <laughs> as good as he possibly could. With a big cover wow. for the yeah. mic. As, the side as possibly the could, yeah. Yeah. The best would be a big cover for his head. <laughs> Can I get what's his face's haircut? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, what's his face's haircut? Yeah, uh, they're surprisingly not as expensive as I thought they would be, and this is a sure, sure one too. So, I guess what a couple two fifty, some like two fifty three. Uh, yeah, no, we don't need yeah. to discuss that in public. Okay. What's wrong with the one I got? Just because yeah. I do this every once in a while. Because well, yeah. he's trying, he's trying to get you off your ass and do more commercials. commercials. That's what, that's well, I know it. I mean, nicely. summer's over. My, my, you know, my, 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 my. My summer, my, my August, my August holiday to Saint Tropez is complete now. So it's back <laughs> yeah, to work. Right. Put the shoulder to the grindstone. There you yeah. go. Exactly. Yeah, because you do do you do do this once in a while, where and, and then I'm like, what what's he saying? I can't hear him. What what's what's was that? What did Joe just say there? What are you talking about? Yeah. Um. What you talking about, Luz? <laughs> <laughs> We're at Gary a Coleman. Gary Coleman was a model railroader. Bringing he that was a wide. model railroader. Famous. Famous monitor. Any minute now, I'm going to send a message now to David, uh, or what's his name? Michael Gross. Yes. Because he hmm. sent me he sent me a, fa a Facebook request on. Oh, excellent. Uh, oh. About six months ago. Six, seven, eight months. It was in the spring of 2019. That's how bad we are at putting these out. <laughs> it was in the, sp it was back in the spring of 2019. Well, pitter patter kid. He's going to think that you think that you're too good for him. Yeah, that's true. That's an excellent point. So and you're going to have to you're going to have to catch him at the right moment when he's not filming Tremors 18 or another uh, 
another uh, Hallmark, uh, yeah, Hallmark one of, Christmas one of his, movie. One of his plethora of Hallmark Christmas. Well, sure, right. uh, that's true, but, but we work with that. That's uh, no different than uh, we had to arrange with Thomas Gazier because we did a segment with Tom and uh, a Ra- Ra- Rusty Ralph. Rusty Ralph. <laughs> Rusty Ralph? <laughs> Ralphy oh, boy. Wow. Get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, he's a sucks nemesis. Yeah, I had to book that one two weeks in advance to yeah. get the two of them organized. So, yes. So, can, but, I, can I can I ask a question first? Sure. Are we expecting any other guests to pop into the studio? I don't think so. I think tonight. Well, well I maybe mean, we should lock the door then. Keep the your riffraff out. Okay, because tonight is the... Uh, First game of uh, the NFL season, the Bears are playing the Packers, and yes, unfortunately, that's right. unfortunately, Mr. Ostertag is going to watch the Packers lose. But that's the, the, Bears. Way. the Bears, the Bears, the Bears. 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 Captain practice is also on TV. What practice? I said they're also televising Bruins captains practice. Really? Oh. I, that's oh, wow. what I heard. Wow. They yeah. Serve, are they serving. They're serving nachos. But the remote, I'm ignoring you, Kelly. <laughs> but the remote, is, <laughs> the remote is out of my arm's reach, so I can't. Uh, brought to, change, you know. <laughs> brought to you by Frito Lay. Yes. <laughs> in defense of Joe, when I went over to see him when we went to the playoff games there in the spring of 2019, a lot of stuff happened in the spring of 2019. Uh, we get to his place after having a lovely meal. And we plunk ourselves down on the TV and we start doing the channels and we barely got started. And there was like a two hour history of the Bruins, which was great to watch. Mm -hmm. They have great TV in Boston. They do. And you know, you know, it was funny the next week when you were going back to Toronto, they were showing a film about the, the legacy of the Maple Leafs. Oh, there you go. How, how, what's his face? Um, Who's the guy? Who's the guy who started the Leafs? The big biggest part of the story was how uh, he put together the financing for uh, Maple Leaf Gardens. King Clancy. Oh, no, Frank Selke. No, no, Frank, no, Frank Selke. Selke maybe, was his maybe name. That, maybe that wasn't him. Maybe, uh, they were talking about You're Con not Smythe, talking. Most... Con Smythe. Con Smythe, that's right. Yeah. The guy they named the trophy after. Yes. No, Which he was named like after the trophy. Card. Yeah, he was named after the trophy. That's right. It's because he's got a pyramid. I'm sure we call a kid. How about Con Smythe? He looks like, like the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a head shaped like a pyramid. Let's name him Con. <laughs> Actually, okay, all right, all right. Well, tell, I'll tell this one story that I may I don't think I've told ever on the podcast before. My dad lived on the same street as Frank Selke, who was the assistant to Con Smythe, who was the owner of the Toronto Maple Leafs back in the 30s and 20s. And uh, my dad always played goalie and street hockey. And Frank Selke walks down the street one day and hands my dad Turk Broda's stick. Nice. And Turk Broda was like one of the most famous goalies in the 20s and 30s. And my mm. and uh, so yeah, that was very cool. And that street, the street is still there, and so is the house. Mm. So there you go. So I can walk on the street where my dad used to play for uh, ball hockey, and then he took me when I was five and six. We would go to these epic ball hockey games in the same location. So, anyways, but by then Turk broke his stick was long gone because it was like thirty years later. <laughs> Turk Brode used to say they. Uh... Paid him for the practices and the games he f- f- threw in for free. <laughs> and apparently he had a bit of a, 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 bit of a, a stutter. <laughs> sound, sound like I'm trying out for my cousin Vinny. Uh, <laughs> sound like Marty. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, God. Uh, you sound like Marty Robbins. Now, if there's anybody who's listening to us that does, in fact, have a stutter, I have a bad. We feeling. apologize. I was going to say I have a bad feeling. I just offended somebody. We yeah. Well, if, well, I don't think I would be surprised if we've ever done one of these podcasts where we haven't offended somebody. So well, in that case, yeah, we're yeah. being consistent in that. Yeah, case. exactly. You're not, you're not. If you haven't, you're not trying hard enough. Exactly. Isn't that the case? Let's see how far we. Are. Oh, we're thirteen minute, fourteen minutes into this one. So let's well, get so started. Pretty much on schedule. Yep. Uh, okay, Raymond Stewart on April the sixth. Oh, uh, AML's own Gordy Robinson visiting the Atlanta area local layouts. So there is Gordy. And I, th- and I think as we record this, Gordy has just been to or is in Atlanta, and he's also uh, uh, visited a few layouts this trip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And no photos, though. I haven't seen any photos. Uh, yeah, he posted some somewhere, I thought. Okay. Here's uh, is this oh, that's way in the life, future, or is this fans of a modeler's life? This is oh, uh, one uh, of them. This We're is a modeler's life. You know what? We modeler's can't life. go on. This is 
Viewer posts yeah. vacation cruise number 36. And, yes. and we have yet to introduce anybody. Okay. So starting usual, from usual cast of characters. Yeah, from left, yes. from left, uh, from right to left. We going have, from left to right across your radio dial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have uh, uh, agent uh, super agent 0013, uh Tom Jacobs, who lives in Robesonia, Pennsylvania, who is the creator and the builder of the Reading Cross Line layout in a twenty by thirty six uh, dedicated building. Yes. Hey, everybody. And, of course, we all know that Robesoni is soon to become world famous as the home of Tomstock 2020. 20 and the homes and the host of Tomstock 2020. And also, uh, Tom, how many uh, levels in the, how many levels in that on that layout? <laughs> how many levels in the layout or how many levels of floor? How many levels of floor would there be? Two. There uh, are two. There's stairs, are there? There are stairs. Okay. And you got the helix in. Boy, that helix is sweet. Yeah, that's, that's, Helix turned out real nice. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. And all the way from Hanover, Massachusetts, which is just south. Is it east or just dead south of Boston? It's southeast. It's about halfway to the Cape. Halfway to the Cape? Yeah. So he's not very, he's somewhere, he's somewhere in uh, South Carolina, halfway to Cape Canaveral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bat batting down for Hur Hurricane Dorian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is during the time of Hurricane Dorian, uh, Cape Cod. It'll actually be 100 miles off the coast on Saturday. We're supposed to get tons of rain. I imagine mm. you will, yeah. Uh, you Be careful there. Don't get washed away. Is Ted the Wonder Dog going to be at the beach? Or is he going to uh, be hunkered down inland? He'll be, he'll be about three blocks west of the beach. However, yeah. however, if I may just uh, interject, Jack, Joe, for interject. If I may just make a comment, Joe, before we move on. If the hurricane is coming within a uh, within a hundred or so miles of your home, and the uh, guest cement bed starts to float out the, <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, just let it go, will you? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Uh, this is keeping his house from floating away. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have uh, our very own Bruce, the moderately agitated male boy. Yes. And uh, we have uh, and many other accolades. We just don't know what they are. Oh, yeah, you own a beautiful Ford pickup truck with a bit of yellow paint on it. Yes, uh, custom body work by uh, my, <laughs> my lovely wife. Jean, yeah. <laughs> and finally, uh, we have the original super fan, super fan number one. Uh, we we ha he's the creator of the Kelly questions. He's the president of every model railroad club within 102 miles of Medford, Oregon. He is the modeler simply known as Kelly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, here's a question. Yes. Why do you never introduce yourself? Because I'm not, uh, because I'm not here. Oh, okay. Then who's Plus talking? Plus, everybody knows it's him. Oh, maybe they not. Oh, maybe some first-time listeners don't recognize who uh, the voice of the evil overlord is without being told who he is. That's so true. So they would have just, just landed on Patreon at random? Yes. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Good point. I mean, all good points. Or they would have found out some other pie. Who knows? Yeah, my name's Lionel. Yes. And uh, I live here. He does. On the couch. All right. The next post is uh, Morgan Pavia uh, representing AML at SeaWorld San Diego today. Sorry, no 8x10 glossies available. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, he's wearing his blue AML shirt. Yes. It's pretty good. That's it. And there's uh, whales in the background. I guess those are orca. orcas. Orca. Yeah, orcas. Yeah. Uh, he's checking his checking their papers. You know, it would, be, <laughs> you know, it would be really good if he was riding... A riding a whale like they do at SeaWorld and holding yeah. a dime. Ooh. That would make him a platinum super fan. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a platinum super fan. Uh, no. Mike, Mike Wachowski. I don't, I don't have a platinum colored ink in my printer. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, do <laughs> we'll do it with a, we'll do it with a Sharpie. Okay. Uh, Mike Wachowski, little Mike Wachowski. Uh, listening to your viewer, uh, virtual hobby shop, VHS, virtual hobby shop number 21. We're working on wiring on the layout. Look at all the ditcher tracks. Um, are those all boosters? I guess, are they? Oh, he's got like yeah. 4 million of them, I think. Oh, does yeah. he? He's got a whole shelf. It's amazing the amount of wires and stuff he has sitting on the shelf there. 
Oh, yeah? And that's the Oh, thing. geez, yes. Uh, he says, uh, here are the pictures that were requested, a group of four and some cheese. Is there cheese in there? No. Oh, we keep scrolling up. Okay. Let's keep... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Um, well, let me finish reading the ca caption. Great podcast this week. Very interesting, and I will be listening to this one again. Wow. I wonder what that was about, Virtual Hobby Shop number 21. How do they glue all those pieces of cheese together? I don't know. Yeah, there's very, several several very pictures. Very carefully. So what are those things in the second picture, Tom? You're a Digitrax guy. Um, uh, I think that is the... The LM3s, I think. Is that the PR3? Oh, is that PR3. the the computer yeah. interface? Yeah, oh. I've got one of those. Oh, okay. I think it is. It's the P PR3, the computer interface. You, know, you never see Digitrax at any of the main train shows. They just live on their laurels, I guess, eh? I actually paid $600 for one of those at Springfield last year. Oh, really? yeah? <laughs> yeah. Just um, for one of those? Um, no, come on. What's his face? Uh, Jordan was looking for one. He was actually looking for a PR4. And uh, I was keeping my eye open, and I saw one. I saw one sitting sitting for sale in somebody's booth. I'm like, oh, I'll grab it for him. I grab it for him. I give. I grab it. I give the guy my card, you know, and he had a little swipey, a square swipey thing, like, uh, oh, boy. like, um, you know, one of those little square swipey things that you run your credit card through. And yes. he punched in one too many zeros when he punched in the price. Oops. Oh. So it took me like a week and a half to figure out what the $630 charge was on my, uh, credit card. So it was supposed to be $60. It's actually, it was supposed to be 63. Instead of punching in 63, 63, he punched in 630. Oh, jeez. But I got it all back. You got it all back, yeah. Yeah. I should start doing that. I have one of those square things for when I'm doing the uh, one more year fund. I should just start punching in extra zeros. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you for your donation at $23,000. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. You only wanted to give $100 and I punched in 1000 Sorry. Well, it's for a good cause. You don't mind, eh? Hey, at least you're going to get, <laughs> you'll get 10 t-shirts now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what's, uh, what's the next thing then? If we have, that was what those were, what's the next picture of Tom? Um, hmm. it's got, it's got to be an interface for the, uh, local net. Yeah. And it looks like it might be, he's using a ribbon cable, so it might be something with detection. Possibly. I can't. Are those server servos hiding in the shadows? No, it's it looks like it's some kind of <clears throat> looks like it might be something from RR circuits. Uh, so it might be like a you know detector board or something like that. Okay, it's detector board. Uh, Mike, I, I'm, I'm I'm guessing. I don't know. Little Mike, you got to work on your lighting, bud. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, he's got the flash to on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Switch the flash to on, and then he's got. And some... let's put some captions in your pictures, other than yeah. Yeah. VH picture three. Tell yeah. us what we're looking at. Yeah, come on, little Mike. You know the drill here. Come on, buddy. Wherever you are right now, you know what, my little Mike. Just so that you remember, I want you to pull over right now, get out of your car, stop the car, and take a selfie with your car in the background of yourself and the car <laughs> in the background, so that you know that you've learned your lesson to put in a little bit more captions <laughs> of what these things are. Grab a sign first and write a sign. Gra I mean, grab a piece of cardboard first yeah. and make a sign. That way the picture is guaranteed to have a caption. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is it, the red wire? Is this just all it's wiring here? <clears throat> it looks my like guess it's, got, is, it's got a rope LED running by in the bottom there, it looks like. Yeah, but my, my guess is that all those red and black wires are the feeder wires that we saw in the earlier pick, and then they're coming into a, a barrier strip. And then that barrier strip is connecting to the bus so that he's powering tons of feeders off of one main connection. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it looks, that's what it looks like. Yeah, let's go with that. And then finally, there's some Green Bay cheese. Monterey Jack, is that what it is? Yeah. Colby Jack. Colby, Colby Jack. Oh, nice. From Green Bay. It's Green Bay cheese. What do you, what do you, what do you know? There's a, there's a company in Green Bay that makes cheese. Huh. Wow. <laughs> uh, look, okay, now this one has a caption number. Uh, it says, cheese pitcher, not in the side of the road. Oh, there you go. We'll have to stop someday and take a picture with cheese on the side of the road. 
<laughs> exactly. You've said it yourself. There's your assignment. And don't forget the dime, whatever you do. So oh, my God. That, that little thing above his head, that little plaque on the wall with the flower, we have the exact same one. Really? Uh-huh. Maybe, wow. maybe he's in your house. Yeah. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah. I think at one time or other, everybody had one of those, or at least one from that the company that made them. Right. And it's a plaque. It's some sort of a plaque with a flower on it for all of those of you playing at home. Yeah. Uh, next one is uh, Brian Doherty, our virtual hobby shop number 21. The crew were talking about the AML mascot and giving it the name Little Willie. That brought me to mind of the song from Sweet. There's a song from Sweet called Little Willie. Hmm. There you go. Yep. It's the, it's the only mascot I know with a nickname. Mm. It's Little Willie the mascot, also known as Crunchy the Sock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's one from Brooks Willig doing a scenery concept mock-up on the job. It's a mic stand for us after a symphony con con concert. Symphony mm. concert. Look at that. That's pretty cool. A whole ton. Of, he's got a ton of equipment. Yes. Mm. He was going to send me some cables, and then I didn't answer right away. And now I'm. See, there, there'd be a guy who could tell you what headset you want to get yeah, for really. Boston Joe. Uh, yeah. What headset do I want to get, Brooks, for Boston Joe? I'm kind of like I'm looking at the uh, Brooks. I'm I'm looking at. Here's what I'm looking at: is the Shure BRH440M. It's the BRH440M dual-sided intercom headset. There you go. That's what I'm looking at, Brooks. Uh, next up is from Adam Pinellas. Yep, the hobby's dying. It's a picture of his daughter, Shelby, working on uh, trees for his uh, garden railway. Oh, well, I yeah. thought maybe she's burying the hobby. Exactly <laughs> 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 yeah, him for a railroad. Oh, boy. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. That's very cool. She's a cute kid, too. It's hard to believe it's Adam's daughter because she's so cute. Uh, oh, here comes a picture from uh, Matt's. I think this is from Matt. Uh, this is from Matt's Brick World Brick Railroad Works. This is this is the guy that sent the caboose. I think. What was his name? Matt. Matt, da Matt, Dawson. Matt Dawson. Matt Dawson. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Matt's Brick, and he has his own page called Matt's Brick Railroad Works. You can't listen to the Kelly questions on a Modeler's Life podcast without hearing about hot dogs. Mine is topped with onions and mustard, after after which a walk across the road into a Costco coffee for caramel, caramel, caramel latte. A caramel, let's see, a car, caramel latte. Caramel. It, you got it. Yeah, I couldn't be, I can't be one of those hip, hip people. Costa Coffee is the name of the store. And it's yes. A caram, fair, and it's a fair caram, size chain in the UK. And it's a caramel latte. Mm. That's where I it like has the it. name. The dog looks pretty tasty, though. Yeah, yeah. look at the, the sign where he got it. The Union Jack Hot Dog. Ooh. Ah, Union Jack Hot Dogs. Well, there you go. Wow. Well, and look and look where he is. In, in where is he? Shirley. Shirley. He's in Shirley. Shirley. Oh, okay. He's Shirley, Shirley, you can't be serious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Yeah. <laughs> we have to get this man to a hospital right away. What is it? Oh, it's a large building with windows, but that's not important right now. Uh, I had a great idea today. I was listening to... Was what, that what that sound was? Yeah, that's what that sound <laughs> was. That's exactly oh, what that sound oh, was. Boy. I was listening to Locomotive Modifications, hosted by our very own Kaylee Zhang. And uh, we started doing a whole bunch of those bits. And I thought, man, we should, uh, we should uh, record those individually. And I can just <laughs> stick them in whenever my little heart pleases. <laughs> oh, here's uh, Bob Followfield chill chilling like an AML villain. Throw pillow for scale. Look at that. He's got his AML shirt on, his blue one. And he's just chilling. Bob Followfield. He had a, we had another great interview with him not that long ago. Excellent, excellent mother. Excellent. Mm, unbelievable. Yeah. Bob Followfield. What's his... I, it's the Galt Sub, the CP Galt Sub, is yeah. it not? Yeah. yeah. And the photography is fantastic. And the photography is fantastic. And here's one from Tracy Driscoll Boyd. Uh, f finally, I wonder which is which, Driscoll and Boyd. I wonder which is which. We need to find out. Trisc usually usually the maiden name is for, in the, in the, the middle. The middle and the married is last. I knew that. No, I did not know that. Uh, so probably she, her maiden name is Tracy Driscoll then. 
Yes. Is that that would saying? be a good bet. Okay, and it's probably going to be different. You guys are throwing me over the side of the boat without any help. Uh, f I didn't even know that. We've learned something on, on a viewer post, Vacation Cruise number 36. Well, you, you've you learned something. Well, and I bet you there's at least... <laughs> I bet you there's at least at least one other person in the thousands of people that listen to us that has also learned something. Whoever you are, please send in a, an email or a post so that I know that I'm not alone. However, <laughs> please, <laughs> please. <laughs> however, I I am used to being alone, so uh, I'm telling alone you. Alone again, naturally. Yeah. Don't da, take da, 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 da. don't take notes. Don't da, pay attention. Da, 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 da. Don't take notes. Don't pay attention. <laughs> Can you not hear me? Am I on mute? <laughs> no, Bruce is. <laughs> oh, is he? <laughs> no, he's singing. I know he's singing. <laughs> what? A prime background music. Oh, is that what that is? Now oh. appearing in the rumba room, Bruce yeah. the Mailboy Wilson. Uh, I can't Opening believe for the vertical turbine pumps. I can't believe anybody. I'd like to introduce to you. <laughs> Our musical guest this evening, <laughs> from Mr. Monsieur Bruce Wilson. <laughs> Take it away, Bruce. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, folks. Thank you, folks. Order number seventy-eight up. <laughs> oh God, I can't. I can't believe you guys can't find work elsewhere. Excuse me, there is a 78 Fairmont in the parking lot. License plate <laughs> AML001. Your lights are on. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Tracy. We never really did get through. This is an interesting post, too. And it's all because I didn't know that maiden names went in the middle. Uh, finally get to sport my favorite shirt while on an overnight. I'm sharing my hobby with my crew in Little Rock, Arkansas. So here she is. She's wearing her AML Modeler's Life shirt. She's at a trolley museum of some sort, would be my guess. And then there's another picture of her in front of, what does that say? Oh, the Clinton uh, Presidential uh, Library, I guess. And there's a train there. That's cool. Hmm. Way to go, Tracy. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just leave that one right there. <laughs> uh, Andy Spencer from Australia at the Yarma Valley Model Railroad uh, Club show in Diamond Creek, Melbourne, Australia. Ten cent piece of first scale. Okay, I want to see this how we're having so much fun tonight as opposed to other nights when we don't. And it seems much more like work. Isn't this so cool that this guy is wearing a modeler's life shirt in Australia? Yes. Yes, it is. It just blows my mind. I just think that is the coolest thing of all. We just started out to do this for fun, period, end of sentence. And now people all over the world are listening to it. I think that is the coolest thing. Thank you very much, Andy, for sending that photo in. That is you so are a phenomenon on three continents. I don't, I think. Uh, it's not just me, though. That's the thing. It's all of us together. It's everybody that listens. It's everybody that posts. It's all of us together. That's what makes it work. We are a community. Uh, we are a community of one. There you go. We are AML Nation. Yeah. Uh, I just hope we win the cup before the Leafs do. You know what <laughs> happens if we don't, though, right? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every year, yeah. The same thing that happens every year. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Who, uh, yeah, we'll have to tell that joke again. Uh, love the podcast. Uh, this is from Daisy J. D A Z Z Y. Dazzy. Dazzy J. Yes. I uh, love the podcast. Looking at my, looking at doing my own from your, love the podcast. Looking at doing my own from your passion for the hobby. I'm looking at a website soon. Facebook is up. Cheers, Darren in Australia. Okay, so he's thinking of doing a podcast about model railroad techniques. Is that what we're getting from this? Is that what we think is happening? Uh, that's the way I would read it. Sounds about right to me. We'll have to get Dazzy to uh, clarify. Yeah, for yeah us. Dazzy J, let us clarify that for us and give us some more info so we can support your podcast. Uh, however, the Facebook page is kind of cool. So is it? Should, uh, Go go take a look at it. Yes, will I be able to get back here? Uh, Open a new one. Depends how you do it. 
All right, I'll open a new one. There you go. But now you guys are going to have to fill uh, fill the airtime, dead airtime, while I scroll. Cur currently, Lionel Strang is now clicking on the link for Model Aero Technique, which is uh, Darren's Facebook page. Well, first I got to get there. Cautiously, he approaches the mouse button. <laughs> yes. <laughs> With great trepidation, he opens up a new tab. Yes, That's yeah. a bold strategy, Kyle. Oh, and yeah, we're back to zero. <laughs> What was that, Tom? I said, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember you guys ever being this funny before. What happened? You, you must be on drugs tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Those painkillers from the walk, they're finally kicking in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, now, there's... Uh, I'm at, hang on, I'm at, uh, I'm at June 11th, and where am I going? I'm April 20th, right? April Whist 21. Whistling's kind of hard into the microphone, don't be doing that. I'm back to, I'm back to May 2nd, I'm back to April 28th, I am May 24th, there's, uh, I'm almost there, there. I'm almost there. Stay on target. Stay. Oh, sorry folks, we're out of time, tune in next time. When there it is. Finally scrolls back. I got <laughs> it, I got it. Model Railroad Techniques. There it is. How many How many uh, fans does he have so far? He's got uh, 53 people like it. Awesome gra static grass and flowers. Oh, yeah, it is a pretty cool website. Model Railroad Techniques. If you want to see it, folks, just type in Model Railroad Techniques. All right, let's get back to the, let's get back to business here. Moving forward. Kent Hurley, episode 120, Outstanding. The things Stephen Atwell brought up about the current state of the hobby were spot on. I was in the Midwest Model Railroad.com store this week for the first time. My first comment was, this is the way a uh, train store should look like today. It is the Costco of model railroading. So Ken Hurley is talking about uh, must, uh, Midwest Model Railroad Company, and they have their own brick-and-mortar store now, and he and it's very much Costco-like because yeah. it's, it's primarily... What it is is primarily a warehouse for their online business, but they opened it up to the public. Mm. Yeah, so they, they did everything backwards, started online, and then <clears> went to brick and mortar. Yeah, and uh, it's very interesting because they've opened a brick and mortar uh, place, and so has TrainLife.com. Yeah. So there's two. So it's like it's a hot. It's how you handle it, I guess. Yep. And there's a lot of people that are surviving. It up. How about around you, Tom? Are there? There must be a couple of hobby stores that seem to be able to handle it, eh? There's, yeah, I mean, there's, uh, there's the Iron Horse in Reading, but th that one, the, there are two that are close to me, but they are not solely trains. Um, the Iron Horse here in town also does, you know, RC cars, RC planes, regular, you know, model, model cars, you know, that kind of stuff. And the same thing with uh, trains and lanes up in the Allentown area has a, a really really awesome train department but as much you know half the store is trains the other half is is you know rc cars slot cars all that stuff so you know i, I the the best hobby shop that's closest to me that is exclusively trains is mainline hobby supply which is about you know two hours away and they're doing pretty good aren't they like they don't seem to be suffering because of the oh injury. no oh no they're they're a they're a powerhouse. Well, they also have, you know, they also have a, a really good um, online presence, um, you know, and a, a really good mail order philosophy. Just as an example, um, a couple years ago, I was on the hunt for some GP40 2s, uh, Atlas models, because I needed power for my uh, Joanna Turn or train. And one Saturday morning, I found them online at uh mainline happened to have them so i ordered them on the web and i thought you know what i'm gonna call these guys if they have them i'm not doing anything today i'll just drive down and get them so i called the store and this is like at 10 30 on a saturday morning and i had ordered them like you know a half an hour before and i i told them i said hey i just you know i just put a an online order in for these these three jeep 40-2s i wondered you know if you had them I uh, I would you know drive down and pick them up and the guy's like well 
you're welcome to drive down, but I already have them in the box ready to go. They're going out to you on Monday. (laughs) So, you know, I mean, um, so there, you know, there's a place that, um, you know, they're, they're doing both, you know, they're, they've got a, a great brick and mortar store, but then they also, you know, they use the brick and mortar to support their mail order store, but they also do, you know, they're really, um, immersed in the hobby so like you know they have a couple open houses a year where they get clinics in and you know people in to do clinics and they have people in the area who have layouts to open up so they they, i mean they really do uh they do it right uh this is going to sound like an insult to somebody because a lot of what i do say ends up coming out sounding like an insult but the stores that are like really into the hobby like you say, you know, they have clinics and all that kind of stuff. They really seem to do well because they're into the hobby. Does that make sense? Oh, yep. exactly. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You'll never. We've we'll got an example down. Oh, one at a time, That's boys. Right. We've got an example down in Mississauga. Our guys at uh, Credit Valley, they are yeah. super people to do it wow. in person or via mail. They do all sorts of in-source stuff. Yep. They got some excellent uh, model rotors who work there. Uh, Roger Kreiser, our friend, being one of them. And, uh, the other guys, they're a, a superstore, and it's, uh, you know, if not the best shop in the Toronto area, certainly in the top two. It's well stocked. Oh yes, yeah. And there's sa- and there's sales too. I like that. I like what he does. That he does the sales to anything that's slow moving. He yeah. you know, lowers the price. And do they they must have a website, a fairly substantial website. Yes. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, were you going to say something there, Joe? Yeah. Sorry, I got overexcited. All I was going to say was you'll never succeed at anything unless you're unless you're passionate about it or at least enthusiastic about it. Ah, there you go. That's a good, very good point. point. That's an excellent point. Well, I wonder if someday the podcast will be successful. Maybe we uh, need- only marginally adequate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a problem. We can't be successful because we're only marginally adequate. Uh, here, go ahead, somebody. I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Joe. Uh, on the air, I am on the air in front of thousands and thousands of people. I'm begging you. I'm begging <laughs> you. Please do some more commercials. Yes. Definitely. Every time I every time I add one to the end of a show, it's like <laughs> it's the most entertaining thing we have. It's I'm going to do a show just of commercials. I promise. Before the month is out. Okay. I think. I'll, I'll, hey, here's I'll, a, I'll here's, craft a few more handmade. I, I got a question for Joe. Has the, has the Dash and Camper finally got their mail order uh, business going? <laughs> um, yeah, they had to actually contract with somebody for freight service. Cause it's, not, it's not exactly like they can take their products and toss them in an envelope and throw them in the yeah. mail. <laughs> the Dash and Camper. I hear they're delivering uh, clothes now on uh, the flat cars from Parnham and Bailey Circus now. Well, they, 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 they tested it, but they broke, they broke the one they were using. <laughs> That's so good. The dashing uh, camper catering to persons of size. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man! Now that's now that's genius. Yeah, that is genius. That is genius. Uh, And apparently, so does Southwest Airlines cater to persons of size. (laughs) Yes, according to Tracy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna fly wherever she's flying someday, just so I can sit in row in seat ten D and go. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I need the extender. Yeah, yeah, they don't, <laughs> yeah they, don't, they, they don't make you buy another seat. They just rent you the seatbelt helper. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, some of us here, including myself, have a, have a few extra pounds. Yeah. Uh, have you have you ever sat in the plane and go, please don't let me have to get the seatbelt extender. Please do up. Please, I'm begging <laughs> you. I'm begging you, do up. <laughs> the, the sad part is the seatbelt extender. It's actually a thing they used to demonstrate how fast the seatbelt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, sir. If I loan it to you, then I can't educate these other passengers. Yeah, okay, she'll in have to wait for the safety talk. The needs in case of, of the, emergency. The needs of the many, <laughs> the go find that many, guy. Uh, <laughs> you guys are so excited tonight. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or in this case, maybe they don't. Needs of the size. <laughs> I've met this guy, and he pretty much outweighs everybody. 
<laughs> okay, you want to you want to know how pathetic my life is? This is how pathetic my sure, life. Sure, we're game. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us something we don't already know. I uh, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to enlighten uh, you on some some try to give you something new. Um uh, I have I do I, life is brought to you by NyQuil. Yeah, exactly. I, not only do I fly to Florida, I've been flying to Winnipeg a lot, home of the Blue Bombers. And yeah. and uh, I have I started to realize about a year and a half, two years ago, I started to measure how much seat belt I had left based on because I would lose a few pounds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I would lose man. a few pounds, and I would say, "Hey, I got a lot more left than I had last time," and I'd lose a couple more pounds. Wow, look at this! I and I'd be like, I'd be sitting there like the like like one of those marathoners at Disney World. Look at me! I got four inches of of seatbelt left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. I don't need any. I'm not even close to the seatbelt extender. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. And then Chris has showed up. <laughs> yeah, why, and then is the Chris... sitting... why is the plane still sitting on the ground? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and I was, uh, I'm telling yeah. you that vibration in the first minute is the spinning wheels. I'm pretty sure it's the spinning wheels of the gear. Um... All right, here's Brian Doherty. This is a really... Brian, I think this is my favorite post you've ever done. Uh, did some research on Stewart. Just like the 81 win at Monaco, you need to take his win uh, several... Uh, take this kilograms. with several... Several kilograms. Of not, kilograms. Kilograms of... Salt. Sodium chloride. Salt. Oh, man. Knackle. Knackle. Uh, knackle. Uh, Stewart's only season in the U.S. was the 1977 United States Auto Club USAC season, racing for owner J.C. and Ag Ag Agajanian, J.C. Agaj. I actually remember that in the second Willard Battery Special, he finished 15th at Indy with a speed of 155.236 miles per hour, but won the final race of the season. The Rex Bay 300 at Riverside International Railway. Uh, Railway. Ra <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was yeah. so close. Uh, <laughs> missed a, it by that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. And then there's a picture of his freight house that he's working on. And what is this one from Philip Hoffman? Here's some video I shot recently. CSX moving wind turbines on the Mississippi coast. And notice I just brushed right over that one word. Nauticals? Nauticals. What are those? What are the nauticals? That's what the 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 blades hook to. Oh, okay. Except they be called nacelles. So nacelles. All right. Yeah, well, I'm United States nauticals. See, that's why I <laughs> nautical. <laughs> Where is a very the popular band the... in the early seventies? Yeah, yeah, the nauticals. <laughs> Where is the T in that word? <laughs> that's what I just knuckles. The knuckles. The knuckles there. Yeah, yeah, the knuckles. The knuckles. Yeah, yeah. The wind yeah. and gentlemen. The nauticals. <laughs> <laughs> <That's my friend. laughs> uh, didn't they perish in a bus crash? In the uh, it was a it was a horrendous accident. Yeah, yeah it was, bus, yeah. It was their, their bus fell twenty thousand feet out of the sky. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Were not, there were nauticals all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> oh, oh, this is good. One, <laughs> this is Jerry Britton. This is a good way to leave. <laughs> no, that's nice. Uh, this is Jerry Britton, this is what exactly what we need to say. Oh my God! Finally caught up on the nine month backlog of AML podcasts. How would I ever have time for Patreon if I did it, if I had it? Layout progress was slow last year. Had kidney cancer. Oh man, you didn't tell us, Jerry. You should have yeah. told us. Come on. If anybody out there is suffering from some sort of desperate or very difficult, uh, no, he can't come in. Whoever it is, if anybody is suffering from some very <laughs> It's about a spoon. Oh, yeah, somebody's Hello? banging on the door. Who uh, guys? First, I'm going to see who it is. Guys? Oh, it's Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> door locked on his way out. Oh, God. Well, now, guys, I, I forgot my keys. How do I get him back in now? What? First, I mean, you got to turn the alarm. Do you have off. to? Do you have to unlock the room? The door. Oh yeah, I'll just unlock. Why don't I do that? Good thinking. Just Tom. As long as he's the only one coming in. The room is now unlocked. He's just sent me a message. Uh, help me. I can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> he's sending it. He sounds like the, the the old lady with her life alert. Help. I've fallen and yeah. I can't get up. Mr. Yeah. Wilson will get someone there right away. <laughs> All right. I unlocked the room so he can get back in. Why did he leave? Why did, why did he turn his mic off just to go outside? 
Um, boy. Not so anyway, yeah. So if anybody out there is uh, struggling or suffering, uh, don't do it in silence or or let us know so we can uh, give you some support along the way. Yeah, definitely. Um. Okay, Leo progress was slow last year. Had kidney cancer and surgery in June. Clean after nine months. Excellent. Way to go, Jerry. Uh, and then ankle surgery in December. Put out damper on things. Now I am finally getting things done and moving forward. Lionel, you'll appreciate this. Well, let me read on and I'll determine if I will. I started work on a diagram of my layout for civil engineering AP. My, a my wife asked what I was doing, and I said I was kicking the tires of a new computer-aided design program. There you go. CAD. Okay, you do, you're right. I do like that. Mac draft. And she said, oh, CAD. She's a keeper. Well, yeah, I think she, she's had, you've had her for a while, Jerry. I think you got to keep her now. All right. Way to go, Jerry. I hope you're doing well. Send us an update. We don't want to hear any bad news about anybody in the old AML nation. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then very in the very next post, he says... Lionel, I finally joined Patreon. Yes, hell has frozen over. Oh, I got another message from Bruce. Yeah, he's just coming through. Yeah, and he, he made me lose the pre-scroll. Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! I did, too! Oh, jeez. Let me go find... I was. I opened up a new window. Oh. What did it... What, the, the, the window is... The door is unlocked. Oh, here he comes now. The door is unlocked. I'm gonna. I'm, lock. I'm back. I'm yeah. back. All right. Well, yeah. And and through all of that, guess what happened to me? What's that? I lost. <laughs> the, I lost the pre-scroll. <laughs> Perfect. But but I don't have to go back as far now. Boy, this oh, show. Yeah. If this show sounds like anything, I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat. I, I'm not gonna eat my hat. But hey, lo Bruce. If this show sounds like anything, I'll buy you yeah. lunch. All right. I was so, just so same place tomorrow then. <laughs> no, I gotta get to the. I gotta get to when oh. I listen to the show. But if the show does sound like anything when I'm editing it, I will buy you. Lunch. <clears throat> oh, okay, I got you. I see what you're saying. All right, are you picking up what I'm laying down? Like, apparently not. <laughs> He's gone again. Oh, is he gone, gone again? again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I gotta <laughs> unlock the room again. <laughs> Quick, let me back. in so you can let me out again. Yeah, let me in so you can let me out again. I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> You got you got uh, Adam Pinellas type. Uh, uh, now we got an echo. Well, he, he's all hooked up to his router now, right? Yeah, so I'm hardwired, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Hmm. Anyhow, I'm back again. Have you paid the bill? Have you scrolled back? I'm working on it. Okay. If this ever happens, well, we're, the next thing we got to tackle is fans of the podcast. Um, with, somehow we got to come up with a strategy to just kind of zip through that. All right, I'm back mm. to where we were. All right, the next one is from Raymond Stewart. It's a dime, just not a traditional sense. Uh, Pog-style money. What is Pog? It's uh, PX money. Pog-style money for the military exchange stores. Used in Afghanistan, Kuwait, and several other places. A few more months to go. Glad I have AML to provide me with last needed when not on duty. Well, we're not trying to be funny, but Raymond, we are so glad you made it back safe and sound. Indeed. Amen. Yep. Amen to that. <clears throat> uh, Brooks Willick, when my toad come, This is disgusting, whatever this is. Yeah. When my food comes and gives me some scenery inspiration, I must document it for future reference. All I all I needed was a C-scale loop of track. This is herb crushed salmon fillet at the Cheesecake Factory. Do not mm. next time you order this, Brooks. Do not eat this. This is the. Uh, oh, the salmon looks good. as the broccoli on the left. That the uh, and that goo in the middle looks kind of sketchy. The salmon that doesn't look good either. That broccoli. Oh, the salmon looks really nuclear. Good. Yeah, the salmon looks really good. The salmon yeah, looks horrible. Looks like it's covered with little bugs. It's covered with herbs. Herbs. <laughs> Herb, herbs. Herbs. It's covered with herbs. Herb. And then uh, Brooks is another one. Even though uh, they seem like a bit pricey, these books are all full of great prototype photos. And these are books. Uh, these are the Steel Mill Railroads books by Stephen, Stephen M. Uh, Timco? Timco. Timco. Yep. Yeah, you must have yep. all those, do you, Kelly? Yeah, there's seven of them. And how, how old are they now? Oh, geez, i got to reach over to my library to get Okay, that. he's reaching into his library. Kelly is now right reaching now. into his... He's the modeler known simply as Kelly. Kelly. Are those morning sun books? They are. Uh, here you are, volume number one. Do you have them too, Tom? Uh, I have... They did a two-volume set on Bethlehem Steel. Bethlehem, yeah. Yeah, that was a good is, one. Too. Which is 
freaking phenomenal. Yep. So this is from 2009. It's All right. Signed. It's even signed by wow. Kurt Busey. So the very, the first vol volume one was only 2009. Yep. Wow. Yep. And uh, and the one about Bethlehem Steel, the two volumes set about Bethlehem Steel, was uh, awesome, wasn't it? It yeah. was. Yep. These books, uh, those Morning Sun books, are spectacular. Oh, I just I just got one for the Reading Power Com uh, Reading Company Power by Davis. Right. He's <clears throat> got he's got like twenty five pictures of the uh, Wilmington Northern. I'm really happy about that. Yeah. I got all those. I got all those. Is that the uh, is that the two volume set, Bruce? Yeah, it's volume two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I have, I got both of those for Christmas from the kids. The first book is first generation power. The second is second generation. Yeah, which is really cool because some of the uh, I wasn't living in the area in 70, 74, 75, and they have the the engines with the the new green uh, paint style. Yep. Which yep. I, the which Jeep I thought. I, yeah, the which I thought I didn't. Use. I wasn't going to get because I never saw them there, and I go, oh boy, I'm getting them. No. <laughs> Oh yeah, they were they were um, not to not to take us off on a tangent, but <laughs> those those uh, but I'm gonna um, those locomotives were specifically bought for the ore service out of the Grace Mine. I mean Bethlehem the Steel Grace actually Mine, yeah. yeah Bethlehem Steel actually helped uh, help finance them. Finance and they were the... they, they were supposed to be dedicated um, to the the um, Joanna to Bethlehem. Or service, but the Reading every so often would sneak one of them onto um, onto uh, RN sixteen, the the freight from Reading to Newberry, just to mm -hmm. get them some some other uh, some other mileage. But um, yeah, no, they're they're uh, yeah. If you're doing if you're doing anything around the, the W and N in the seventies, you have to have those. Yeah, they stuck them down to Wilmington too. Mm hmm. Yep. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, that's all cool stuff. That is all cool. See, that's what that's the nuggets of this podcast is when we finally hit something where we can, you know, we, you know, there's like you know, you got to trudge through, you know, a half a mile of waist deep mud, but then when you get there, it's like riding a, it's like riding a motorcycle in the rain, and then you finally get through the other side of the storm. Man, when you get there, it's like it's brutal getting through the storm, but when you get there, there's those beautiful moments. Hmm. And then just as fast, they're gone again. Man, I hate it when you guys get quiet. Uh, we're wife, waiting on you. I my ex-wife just texted me a video of Wonder Dog chasing a lacrosse ball around her house. She has hardwood floors, so he slips sliding all over the place and bouncing oh, off the stuff. Yeah. It's hilarious. Um, He's a big dog, too. Oh, yeah. All 140 pounds of him. It would be kind of, a, kind of a Christmas vacation kind of thing. Um, I'm like, hey, it's your TV, not mine. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, caught up with it. Uh, here's one from Chris Atkins. we got to do another Atkins uh, report, uh, Atkins diet. Uh, caught up with Blaine Hatfield in Sheridan, Wyoming. He showed me all the local rail fan hotspots, and we saw zero trains. At least the company was good. Way to go, Blaine Hatfield of Arrowhead Models. And he's got another car coming out. He'll have his second release coming out soon. Uh, here's one from Adam Pinellas. A huge shout-out to my good pal Christopher Brimley, his layout. His layout snagging the cover of RMC, not to mention an awesome eight-page tour of its yeah. Hudson Terminal Railway. Look at that. One by, se one by <clears throat> seven, right? One, by, like one foot by seven foot or 14 yeah. inches by seven feet. And I, and I was reading that article uh, while we were talking to Chris, and it took me about 10 minutes to realize it was end scale. It's unbelievable what Chris Brimley It's a did. beautiful layout. Yeah. I serendipitously bought that, bought that issue at Lombard Hobbies when we were out in Chicago. I, have, I still have yet to pick it up and read it. Yeah, uh, and that was the first issue that Otto Vondrak was the uh, editor for. Editor, yeah. Yeah, fabulous. Fabulous. Way to go, Otto. Way to go, Chris. <coughs> uh, Brooks Willick, she's alive and breathing, boys. Uh-oh, it's uh, Big Boy 14, 40, 40, 14 moves for the first time. And there's Big Boy uh, 40, 14 in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Brooks Willick uh, doing some videos there. What's this next one? This next one looks... Oh, Mike O'Dorney, ketchup. Old hot dog signs. Five cents for a hot dog. Mm. Jeez, I had a really good hot dog tonight, too, in a restaurant I hadn't been to for about a year. Man, oh, man, was it good. What was that? A uh, place up in Severn Bridge, which is north of... Yes, I know where that is. I know you know where it is, but... Oh, okay, you... but greater... <laughs> do you think right? Do you think Rod... West by about an hour. Yeah, do you think Rod Deary knows where that is? <laughs> I don't know. We'll tell him, though. <laughs> 
Up it's, Highway 11. It's up. <laughs> it's about two hours north of Toronto, Rod. Yes. Um, here's a picture but, of what? Go ahead. Just before you before you go on to Tracy's post, mm -hmm. I want you to take a look at that sign yes. that, that Mike posted. Okay. Yes. And you'll see that it says hot dogs, five cents. And there's a line of text below yes. that. Yeah. Would, somebody, would somebody care to read that? I, would, word I will gladly please? read it for you, Mr. Jacobs. It says your choice of mustard, ketchup, onions, or relish. Do you see ketchup on the hot dog? No, but I see ketchup saying there's our choice of it. Yeah. Well, obviously, whoever ordered that hog, whoever ordered that hot dog, did not choose ketchup. Yeah. Well, they're, they're obviously the... catering to the feeble-minded who can't make up their own minds, but no, for the miners, have the capability to read <laughs> for the miners, it's for the miners. They well, there's only, own. oh, they have coal mines. <laughs> uh, uh, Joe, you're okay. a, you, Joe, you're a man of the world. Are you not? Well, yeah, I, I try to tell myself that. Every exactly. Time. So you've been to Costco and you've had the uh, hot dog and soda, all you can drink for dollar fifty. Several times. And is it that is that probably not one of the most economical deals for a hot dog and a soda on, on the North American continent? Oh my gosh! I went in one I, the first time I went in. I figured, oh, one hot dog is not going to be enough, so I ordered two for three dollars. When I walked out, I thought I was going to puke. I was so full. Yeah, but these are good hot dogs. They're doing oh, they're doing the lo dog. lowest price they could possibly do, a dollar fifty, and this hot dog that comes with ketchup is five cents. Which tell which indicates how bad is this? They're well, trying, they're trying, it's got it's 50 got years old. Where's the date? I don't see a date. Well, it looks about fifty years. Old. Uh, well, <laughs> so some of this whatever hot dog this is in the year two thousand and nineteen, whoever's at in the hot dog with ketchup is so bad it's like five cents here. Just take it for God's sake. Yeah. Give me a nickel. Hey, hey, Tom Tom Jacobs. Yes, sir. How close are you from the Heinz plant, or how far are you from the Heinz plant? Oh, Heinz is um, Heinz is in Pittsburgh, way on the other side of the state. Oh, so yeah. it might be a, a bit of a trip, but maybe they could become like an official sponsor of Tomstock 2020. They could. Did you see that link I posted uh, yesterday? Oh, for the the ketchup, the, the ketchup ke board the ke or whatever his name was, the ketchup master. <laughs> it's a, it. it his yes, only yes. job is to make sure that every batch of ketchup that comes out of their factory is as good as the last one. He's a he's a true hero, that man. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with ketchup on French fries or onion rings or, yeah, or on or, hot dogs. Or, or, on or, hot or dogs. variety, but not on hot dogs. Uh, now who says? Who well, says? it's okay if you're under the age of eight. Well, you know, see, there it's you like go. Putting whipped cream in your beer. You're preaching yeah. the national hot dog <laughs> who, are like, who are like who are like evangelists who are preying on the weak minded who can't think on their own and realize that ketchup is really good. Like putting whipped whip cream on beer. That's what ketchup is on hot dogs, like putting whipped cream on beer. Uh, let's move along. Five cents for this hot dog. Man, that must be bad. Uh, here's one from Tracy. This is very cool. Uh, it's uh, She's working and she's got her AML button on her uh, working uh, duds there, her apron. And she's got a picture of a, a button. I wonder who that other, wonder who that other fella is. On the button that she's got there. We need to know, Tracy. Inquiring minds want to know. And then the Union Pacific Railroad. She went to see the Union Pacific Railroad. Wherever it was she was. Where would she have seen that? Anybody? Oh, uh, west somewhere? Denver, maybe? Probably. It's, it's, a sta it's a station. It looks like it might be a station. Oh, yeah, it's a station. Yeah, and it says Union Pacific on it. We'll, we'll have to get her to tell us. Uh-oh. Here she is, uh, pr another one from her. Uh, bathroom renovation almost done. Thanks to Modeler's Life for the company while I work. Although I would rather be in the train shed. Man, oh man, this is one hard working dude, this Tracy, I'll tell you. She's always working on something. She 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 wears me out just uh, watching her work. Uh, here's one from our buddy Jeff Brigham in Michigan. While listening to Viewer Mail uh, 69, I, can, I can't agree more with Lionel's comments about this podcast. A modeler's life improves the hobby with every show. Magazines, YouTube videos, and web groups just don't have the combination of enthusiasm, knowledge, and comradeship the AML has. Thank you, AML. Well, thank you, Jeff, for being such a, a loyal fan. That is a great way to put it. We're just a big group of goofy guys and gals trying to have fun with the hobby. Uh, and Jeff Brigham uh, on the newest Model Railroad Hobbyist ad 
for the AML, uh, we have Jeff Brigham and his uh, his slogan. Yes. Jeff Brigham says, uh, mo- "It's a mo- listening to a modeler's life is a crap load of fun." Uh, Ryan Leo Reesmans. Here's something about uh, the uh, 40, 4014 and meeting the other locomotive. What was the other one it met? The Challenger. Yeah. The Challenger? 60-something or other. 68 some I don't know. Somebody will tell us. Somebody will. Glenn, uh, how do you spell this? F-R-X. Fricks? Fricks, probably? Glenn Fricks? Is that right? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Um, uh, for those of you AMLers that are near the Charlotte area, come check out our modular road. It's a sipping and switching society, modular group. Look at the size of this layout. It's ginormous layouts. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, uh, that's a, mo- uh, everybody brings in a module. So it's, it changes size and changes yeah. locations. Well, they stuff. have, and some guys bring in, I think Ken Anderson has like six modules. Yeah. 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 Some guys bring it, and they have such a slick way of putting them together and and tying them all together. It's very very yeah, cool. Yeah, because they have a they have a template that you have to use. Yeah. So here's another name that I, we don't recognize. We've been getting a lot of names we don't recognize. Uh, Ryan Leo Reisman, uh, Glenn Fricks. I hope I'm saying that right, Glenn. It is Glenn, isn't it? Uh, Todd Glenny. Uh, hi, listening to my, uh, Lionel and the gang as well as the guests always inspires me. Here is uh, my latest endeavor. Any AML areas in the Hood County, Texas area? I wonder how close that is to Brooks. Anyways, uh, he's uh, he goes to his site, toddglennywicksite.com. Is that right? Yeah, Todd Glenny, G-L-E-N-N-E-Y dot wicksite.com. Do it. Go there. Let's check it out, boys. And here's our buddy, Ray Stewart again. And Oh, yeah, this is cool. This was very cool. This is yeah, very yeah. cool. We should have done it ourselves, but Tom beat us to it. Uh, way to go, Tom. A big thanks to Tom Gazier for making my day. We've been currently deployed in Afghanistan. He sent him some uh, railroad magazines. Like he sent him Model Railroad News, Railroad Model Craftsman, and Trains and Model Railroader. How cool is that? Way to go, that, Tom Gazier. That's awesome. It is mm-hmm. awesome. And Tom is now an, an MMR. Way to go, Tom. Way to go, Tom. Nice job, cool. buddy. Um, uh oh, Morgan Pavia waiting at Sam's Clubs for my wife's birthday cake to be ready. Dime for scale. So it looks like he's got a hot dog and he's got it in front of. Well, you see, there's no one. What do you see right there in the middle? <laughs> he's just Probably waiting for the cake played. to show up. He's going to put ketchup on that. Yeah, yeah. put ketchup right. on the cake. He's, he's, yeah, what I don't understand. What do I don't understand is why they call it tomato ketchup when it's just ketchup. Yeah. What other what other kind of ketchup is there? Ketchup is there. Yeah, it's. See, that's a problem with ketchup. You can't trust yeah. it. It's not really ketchup. It's corn syrup. Yeah, you can't trust ketchup. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, what's up no. with the fact that some people call it catsup? Catsup, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. What's up with that? It's Mr. C-A-T Birds is all confused by that. What's up with that? You can't trust catsup. Yeah. Uh, yeah ju- catsup, I mean, we were making it. Although, to be fair, why are they calling it yellow mustard? Is there yeah. a pink? Is there a pink mustard? Well, although there's whole kind of mustard, there's brown, brown mustards. Brown, there's yeah. uh, come on, Wilson, well, play along with the joke. Yeah, I know. <laughs> not shoot down your theory. That's yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're asking. You're asking <laughs> the wrong you guy. Did, you know what, Joe? Joe, if you'd have given him an inch on the, if you'd have given him an inch on the ketchup, he would have backed you to the hilt. Yeah, but some no. people, right some now, people Joe, just, you know what it is. It's not Joe Yeo. There you <laughs> yeah, go, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Some people just want to watch the world burn. You know what? <laughs> that, that Joe on that one looked like Brett Favre backing up, trying to send through a last-minute touchdown, and he just and then he, he, got thumped. he just heaves it up in the air, and uh, the other team runs under it. You got to take a look, see where the rece- – Joe, you should have thrown that one to me. <laughs> that there was a double doink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Junior. <laughs> the Bears. The Bears. The Bears. Uh, yeah, that's right. Tonight, as we mentioned earlier, this is the uh, first night of the 2019 NFL, right now. NFL season. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, Green Bay Packers fell to the Chicago Bears 42-14. to 14. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Brigham, listening to viewer post vacation cruise number 32. Ha, if I'd sent out my credit card info, you bet I'd, I'd max out on trains first, then claim it was stolen. But I'm sure I wouldn't get away with it. So we must have been talking about somebody sending out their credit card. 
We, I think we asked somebody for their credit card. Jeff, why don't you, you know what, Jeff, why don't you send us your credit card info? Just send, and don't forget, just, you know what, don't you, you don't even have to type anything. Just take a picture of the front and the back of it and send that photo to the head office at uh, AML in Busted Knuckle, Kentucky, and we'll try out your credit card. We'll make sure it's, we'll make sure it's working. <laughs> uh, here's Order one. up. What? Order up. Order up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Order up. <laughs> I'll have uh, a fresh big boy with a side of turbos, please. I wish I had a service bell right now. Ding, ding. Um, wild away my, here's one from Chip Stevens. Wild away my afternoon on the Pennsylvania Turnpike listening to viewer post vacation cruise. XXXII, which of course is number 32, which of course, like I say that, like I know, almost served, almost swerved off the road when I heard someone discussing their AML shirts received for being a $2 monthly Patreon subscriber. Who would have done that? Hmm. I don't even know what that is. We'll have to go back to the tape. Yeah. I find that hard to believe. I've well, been... that was back during the day when $2 was worth something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been a $5 monthly contributor since uh, Patreon day one, and other than a lot of chuckles and received bupkis, shirts are sizes large. We'll email address, <laughs> we'll email address as required. Yes, it's been always been that uh, $10 a month is, and then you get a shirt every 10 months, so you don't have to do any laundry. And I think I, uh, I got to get working on that. I probably owe people a couple of t-shirts. And... Mm. Uh, <laughs> Kelly, you've got way more than your share already. You get, you, I, it's all I wear now. That's all I know, the shirts I wear. I know. Um, hey, Kelly, you got a sinus problem or something? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I asked Bruce if he had a si problem, if, oh. if he was having a problem with his sinuses. Who, who Kelly? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neil Erickson or Eric Nielsen, if he's less than Nielsen's brother. Uh, as requested, I stopped what I was doing to take a photo. Maybe even Kevin Marks will uh, LMK about my po will LMK. I am what's that? Let me know. Let me know. Okay, maybe Kevin Marks will let me know about my ponderings here. Fill the gap or no need. So okay, so he's uh, cut the ties. The, I guess those are the copper ties. And he wants to know if he should fill the gap. I say fill the gap with uh, crazy glue myself. That's what I'd do. That's my thought anyways. Tom? Or does he actually mean file the gap on the copper cladding? Oh, I mean, he's got the gap there. He wants to know if he should fill it so it doesn't look like a gap. I think yeah. he should. Yeah, I think oh. he should fill it with him some glue or something. Crazy glue. He should definitely mind the gap. Yeah, mind the gap. Absolutely. If yeah. this sounds like a show, Bruce, I am buying you lunch and <laughs> any dessert you want. Ooh. Ooh. You boy. know what I'm thinking? Those what? cinnamon buns at Costco are pretty tasty. There you go. Okay. Uh, or get, actually, those berry part. We were there over the weekend, and, and my wife and I had one of those uh, berry parfaits. They were really good. Okay. Bruce, if, uh, if this sounds like a, if this turns out to be a show, you and I will go to Costco. And I'll get you a, do uh, a hot dog, and you can have whatever dessert you want. Sweet. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Uh, industry, uh, Garrick Hansman, industries are key elements of our layouts. We review a few along the way on HO scale Rutland layout of Randy Laframbois La 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 and Mike Sparks in the uh, latest Resin Car Works blog post. That's a great layout. Yeah. It, is it? Yeah, he he um he presented at the the Valley Forge RPM meet this year. And what's what's really cool for me he lives in Vermont and and what's really cool is the the Rutland line that he is modeling passes through Middlebury, Vermont, which is the town where I went to college. So it was neat it's neat to see him modeling three or four locations that I was actually familiar with when I was uh, in school. Oh, okay. But his, his modeling is, you know, done to a, a very high standard, you know, both the historical research, but also just the, the, his, he's a great modeler. His, his structures are great scenery, 
all of that. Really a nice layout if you ever get the chance to see one of his clinics or photos. If you figure out a way to get contact him, send me some info and we'll contact him and get him on the podcast. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, we got to line up some more people to get for interviews. We got to get working on that. It's time to work on that. So the, it's the falls here now. Little Mike Wachowski listening to Chasing the Big Boy with Adam Pinellas. Uh, Bruce and Adam were talking about where all the big boys are located. Believe it or not, we have one in it right here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, home of the frozen thunder of Lambeau Field, at the National Railroad Museum. And his name is Michael Ostertag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Mike, that was too easy. Yeah, and he's watching the and he's watching the Packers lose to the Bears tonight, thirty-seven to seventeen. Oh my goodness gracious! Uh, Chris Brimley. A 14-hour uh, late Amtrak California Zephyr number no. 5 arrives in Provo with a freight unit on the point. The great Adam Pinellas, conductor of the gods, displays his frustration. Wow, there you go. It's a picture of Adam Pinellas waiting to get on the uh, California Zephyr. And he's like, where have you guys been 14 hours late? Holy mackerel. Yeah, yeah that or singing touchdown. I'm not sure. Yeah, or touchdown. The Bears. The Bears. Score another the one. Bears. The Bears. <laughs> Rogers. This this just in at the half. Green Bay seven. Chicago three. There you go. So so Adam's got a white shirt on. Yes. And then the guy standing behind him has a blue shirt on because he's got a conductor's hat on. Yeah, he's the assistant. The assistant? Okay. I so think... was Adam did CSX fire Adam for insubordination? What did he do? What did he wrote do wrong? Yeah. Oh, just that expression. Oh, never mind. Let's move as 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 the spinoff podcast says. Moving mm -hmm. on. <laughs> Anybody? He will not be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, he's just leaving now. <laughs> Joe uh, Cummings has not been held over at the Rumba Room. <laughs> <laughs> he has been shown the door. Yeah. Don't uh, ever darken our doorstep again. <laughs> Don't ever darken our doorstep again. Uh, I'm begging you, Joe. I'm begging you. <laughs> um, I promise. I promise. It's been a busy summer. Uh, little Mike Wachowski, uh, listening to viewer post vacation cruise number 32 while building a fast tracks number six left hand turnout dime for scale. I wonder if mm -hmm. there's any connection there. He's listening to uh, va uh, vacation cruise number 32 and building a number six. Wow. Hmm. That either that either means the next one will be a number twenty six, or I always love 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 listening to George Norrie and Coast to Coast at night, and well, the numbers you know, guys. If you add four to thirty two, that makes it thirty six, and then if you divide that by six, you get six. Yeah, uh, six turnouts would be a little expensive. Or though, does he need four turnouts? He needs four turnouts. You add that to thirty two and divide that by six, it equals four coincidence i think not <laughs> uh here's another one from our pal tracy driscoll boyd i believe her maiden name is driscoll because that's what goes in the middle did you guys know that we did no. yes uh look at a cool new watch she got she says sporting my new flea market find spiffed up with a new band it's a lionel watch look at that that's pretty that's cool that's awesome that is cool doesn't that little train under the bezel go round and round yes and round? it does yep yeah mm -hmm. that's cool that's wicked cool that is wicked cool. Way or to go. Is, or, or as they actually say down here, wicked pissa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dropkick Murphys. We should get them on the show. There you go. <laughs> uh, another picture of Brian uh, Doherty's Freight House. Way to go, Brian. Keep it up, buddy. Uh-oh. Here's a picture of Neil Erickson. And now something for the ladies and hipsters in the group. Dime for oh. scale. It's a <laughs> ma magnetic earpiece. That's what Earth's I need. It's like hell. <laughs> Does it? Well, that's what he said. Remember the interview? He said it hurts like hell. No, I don't know. I don't remember every interview I did. Holy mackerel! Uh, I need but... one of those to go with my tattoo. Yeah, there you, you do. There yeah, you go. yeah. You yeah. should get your ears pierced. You get a stuffed pirate. I had, I had my ear. I had my ear pierced in college. How did it hurt? No. There's there's alcohol involved. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta get a stuffed parrot for your shoulder too. Yes. <laughs> and an eye patch. Yes. <laughs> Arg. Arg. Yeah, then you can pretend you're a biker and ride around on the weekends with all dressed like a pirate. 
<laughs> I got so annoyed with that. Guys wearing what I wear now is a t-shirt, my jeans and sneakers. I got so annoyed with guys dressing like pirates riding their Harleys. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, really? The, the full regalia? Yeah, the full regalia. Yeah, all the all the all the stuff so that they're badass bikers. <laughs> you know, it's like, come on. Uh, I go out of my way now to look like a yuppie while I'm riding my while I'm riding the bike. And, he's, and, he, and the, the guy dressed up like a pirate is really a CPA named Melvin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, you somebody that does your taxes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you can take the depreciation on that bike. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bruce, Put an AML sticker on it, and then you can use it as a tax deduction for <laughs> <laughs> it's funny i just saw ghostbusters this weekend what's his face his character lewis tully oh lewis. <laughs> oh let me out of this thing who turned off the lights uh, bruce yes two two lunches at costco all right with <laughs> so I'm, I'm ready all right i think it's gonna be good it's yeah. going to be marvelous. Uh, I'm listen. looking forward to that hot dog and cinnamon buns. All right. Um, listen, here's one from Little Mike Wachowski. Listening to Virtual Hobby Shop number 22, pictured of the picture of the lonely highway as I drive home from work. I will have to say this is one of the most entertaining podcasts. He ain't I, heard nothing yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to throw himself in a wood chipper next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, that's what we need yeah <laughs> yeah we need uh, a stuffed doll that looks a uh, full size stuffed doll that looks like little Mike Wachowski throwing himself into a wood chipper <laughs> do not try this at home we are trained professionals no persons are heard in the making of this video <laughs> yeah. good going Lionel if you need any help just yell I'll be inside asleep yeah uh, he says he's going to listen to it again right away holy mackerel I laughed so hard when Lionel Strang said the spoon was the goofiest guy he'd ever met, and that Spoon could turn a stop sign into a 12-step program. <laughs> oh, boy. Keep up, the great, keep up the great work and keep them coming. I will, we will try. We will try. Uh, I can't count on the, can't count on this one, Little Mike, though. Uh, hey, Little Mike, wherever you are, you've already taken one picture. Pull over again. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, and take another picture of you. No, nah, this time you can just take a picture wherever you are. Just take a picture wherever you are. Right this second. Uh, Brooks Willick started working on the Atlas MP15 DC. Stopped and uh, dropped an ESU look sound select in and a soundtrack speaker. This is my first local with sound. I'm pretty excited to get this one finished. I have some decals coming from uh, Shell Scale. I've never heard of Shell Scale. To repaint this Norfolk Southern unit. Shell scale? Has anybody ever heard of that? Mm -mm. No. Oh, me neither. Uh, Kelly? No, never heard it. Are you working the internet on are you working the Google on the internet machine? I'm buying stuff on eBay. What you I have a tap. What are you buying? I'm looking at uh, Reading photos right now. Uh, oh, what are you looking at? Shellscale.com. Uh, Did you get it? Shellscale.com. Yeah. Uh, what is it? It says like just scale, uh, just sh uh, decals. They got northern southern di diesels, then in W locomotives, southern locomotives, Chesapeake Western, Norfolk Southern miscellaneous, Norfolk Southern freight, oh. NW freight cars, well, diesel it, number blocks. Well, they got it, a dynamo. Is, they got all sorts of crap on their website. Is it decals or, or decals or what? Shellscale.com. They're decals. There you go. They're in Roanoke, Virginia. They might They're right around the company dedicated to produce a very accurate line of model railroad decals and H O O and N scale. They're wow. right. Ar they're right around the corner from you, Tom. Yeah, Roanoke, Virginia. Where? Roanoke, Virginia. That's like not right around the corner at all. That's like right recorded like six hundred miles away or something. Yeah. That's not. That's that where oh, you know what you can. We can send James the next time he has to go down to Roanoke for work. There you go. All right, yeah. we'll send James to check, check it out. Um, check it out. Yeah. How's that whole thing with him uh, moving into the family working out? It's working out fine. All right. 
Here's a picture of Jeff Brigham, my favorite chore for listening to the new, my favorite chore for listening to the new AML episode, cleaning the horse lot. I pretty much can focus only on the podcast. I had to wait for the sun to come up to take a picture as bonus, our youngest horse is in the background. Oh, there it is, way back oh, there. Way back there. Way, way back During there. the grass. Yeah. And what has he got there in the background? He's got one of those shopping carts that he's walking around picking it up, I guess. It's a wood yeah. chipper. It's a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> he's got headphones on. It looks like it's probably a, a like a, a plastic bucket on wheels so he could pick up all the stuff. Horse done. Horse done. Well, he's got he's got his uh, mic headphones on, so let's do the podcast. Yeah, I yeah. know, I understand, but what's that behind him? It's a bucket yeah. of poo. poo a bucket yeah. of poo. <laughs> poo bucket. Horse poo bucket. <laughs> Any more stupid questions? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty. Uh, if we weren't already our marginally adequate, we'd be a bucket of poo. <laughs> it's brown and sounds like a bell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dung. <laughs> uh, but we digress. Yes. Insert rim shot here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, all right, moving along. What time? How much time have we killed here? I don't know. Oh, you're, well, you're, you're on the, you're on the countdown clock. I know. I'm just looking there. We've killed a and minute. We killed an hour and twenty nine minutes. Perfect. And we've done. We're up we're, to June. We're, yeah, let's keep, let's, a couple more. Yeah. Come on, let's yeah. go. Okay. Let's get to July. Okay, Dad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't make, don't make Move me that slide down the there. field. Yeah, now that he's got a tattoo, he's like, hey, I'm yeah. running this show. Remember, he's not mad, <laughs> he's just disappointed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Ryan Gerder. This is another name I don't recognize. Uh, you know your you know your way yeah, you know your way into model railroad operations when you find yourself drilling organizing the cart return at Win dixie Everyone knows <laughs> small t- carts go in the one track and large carts go in the other, right? That's pretty funny. Absolutely. Isn't it? Way to go, mm-hmm. Ryan. That's I must right. admit I do the same thing. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> and thank- Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the guy. This is the guy. When I send him a picture, I go, I made it to the top of Churchill, the big hill in Churchill. I'm now... I'm now like 72 kilometers of the 100 kilometer walk in. And I'm like, I made it to the top of the big Churchill Hill. The the town's called Churchill, and there's just this ginormous hill that you have to go. It's like freaking Mount Everest. Yeah. And then he, and then I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to keep him abreast of where I am. And he goes, Well, you only got one more to go. Yes, Art. And thanks for noticing. Uh, okay, Jordan Kramer, uh, listening to your post-vacation cruise number 33 while driving to get a CT scan done. I recently picked up uh, this key ring, and it's uh, pretty awesome, made by the fine folks at Fox Valley Models. Okay, it's a Norfolk Southern key ring. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Yeah, look at cool. that. Exactly. Jordan, Jordan needs some lotion for those hands. Those no, are hard-working yeah. hands. The, he, what he needs to do is wear gloves when he's welding. That's what he needs yeah, to do. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, maybe that's... Yeah. Jordan, get some lotion for those hands. Get uh, get some bag bomb keep, on those working hands. Yeah, those are working hands. Uh, Neil Erickson, adding a body-mounted coupler to the Markland Locos tender to run appropriate cars in the local museum. Hmm. Hmm. On the <laughs> Big Island of Hawaii. When on the Big Island of Hawaii, the AML Nation stays at the Pakalana Inn. Yep. In Hilo, Hawaii. Now, is hmm. this is this Z or N? That's I don't know. That it's, looks like well, and it's a dime. Looks like N, I would guess. It looks kind of actually it looks kind of like Z. Oh, Mark Marklin could be Z scale. Could actually, if it's Marklin. They could. It could be either. Yeah, it could be any. They could. They it could be their own standard. Neither Z nor neither N. It could be narrow gauge N. Uh there you go. Yeah, it's a very small scale. Whatever it is. Anyway. Well, Neil, tell yeah. us what we're looking at. Uh, tell us, come on, Neil. We need to know. Uh, here's another one from Jordan Kramer. As I continue to listen to viewer post vacation cruise number 33, per Lionel's instructions, I've included a photo of where I am at this exact moment. Wow. Yeah, he's about just about to drive into a building. Drive into a building there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope he goes between the trees. Yeah, what is the speedometer? It says he's just doing about 50, 52 miles an hour. Holy mackerel. Slow down. <clears throat> well, he's helping them Speed start kills. their first drive through welding service. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, little Mike Wachowski listening to viewer post-vacation cruise number 33 while on my way to work another great episode 
He's at exit 137, uh, road XX in Keel, Cle and, and Cleveland. He's almost to Cleveland. Wow. That's a, that's, that's, a a wide that's a wide road. Yeah. <clears throat> now what I want to know, <clears throat> is there a route triple X somewhere in Wisconsin? Probably. Probably. It's very annoying driving around Wisconsin when you're not in a Wisconsinite trying to figure out all those roads. I take the back road sometimes, and it's like very, very annoying. I think it's what the Mark's explained. I think the, the alphabets go north and south and the numbers east and west or the other way around. It's one or the other. Hmm. So hmm. That's interesting. What? Yeah. Um, and if Kelly wasn't busy buying stuff on eBay, he could look it up. We could work the Google on the internet machine. Oh, boy. Here, let me go do a tab. <laughs> <laughs> Are we bothering you, Kelly? Are we? Uh... No, no, I'm I'm having a great time. I huh? just want I just want to know what he's bidding on so I can bid him up. And make yeah, him yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a picture of Robisonia. It reminds uh, me. It reminds me of uh, today. I got that reminds me today. I got another text from Jason Schron. We were talking about his wonderful donation to the One More Year Fund, and he was like, he could not get over how fast those cars sold out. And we're both talking about how, and I said, I, I've had like a dozen messages, people asking me if I had those uh, well cars that he had for sale. He was like, I can't believe how fast they sold out. This just in, Wisconsin uses letters as route designations for all its county oh, roads. Man. Routes may be labeled with a single letter, double letter, or a triple letter. Ooh. Roads are usually named sequentially. Although the de letter designation may stand for initials of a road, a geographical feature, a political division, such as County Road, Highway KR, along Kenosha, Racine County, Line, or honor of a person. Mm, we need so a, there you go. They need an AML. This has been an AML newsflash. We yeah. now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Uh, they need an AML road is what they need. Uh, here's another one from Jordan. While making a run down to Busted Knuckle, I stopped by LaGrange, Kentucky for a visit and caught the DPU of this train. Uh, DPU stands for? Distributed Power Unit. Yeah, because that means it's power in the middle of the train usually, correct? Also known yeah. as a mid-train helper. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. And why are we explaining what the acronym means, gentlemen? So everybody knows. There you go. Because not everybody knows everything that we talk about. So we are, oh. we are, it's infotainment. We are infotainment. The old Stringline Express. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dime for <laughs> scale. He's doing a nice broom field there. That's a beautiful broom field he's doing. He's got that baby dead center right there above the eyebrows. That's a really yep. nice job on the broom field. Uh, LaGrange is a very nice viewing platform, which is where this photo was taken. Nice one. Brooks Willick, a card for, uh, for father, for the father and the evil overlord of the AML podcast on this Father's Day. Okay, it's a video. I'm going to play it. I'm going to see what it says. And if I... I, I can't <laughs> read it. It's something to do with hot dogs. Happy Father's I, Day to a real wiener. <laughs> wiener. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to a real wiener. Well... Uh, is there any way to is there any way to stop people from downloading the podcast? Yeah, no. take them take them all <laughs> off your site. Yeah. <laughs> no, we would never do that. Too late. Too, Too late. late. Uh, Jeff Brigham, uh, Father's Day, tearing down the road in a duster. Okay, I, this has uh, some sort of a, a cart behind a behind or or it's a Dodge duster. Three yeah, four. Yeah. Like a part of me. Yeah, exactly. And it my looks AML. Looks like a couple of horses here. Oh, there are shoulders there. They're very One. small shoulders. Maybe elbows, but I don't know about shoulders. <laughs> uh, listening to the gang, Morgan Pavy, listening to the gang list off potential famous model railroaders on viewer post Vacation Cruise 33. I have a question. Is anybody really surprised that someone from NASCAR would be an end scaler? I mean, granted, it is, it is reverse, but nothing says racing like a Santa Fe F7 going Mach 3 around the <laughs> <a> loop. <of laughs> <that>. <laughs> he makes a valid point there. Yeah. Uh, Roger Kawaja, stop by and say hi. I have a table. Get ready for the ultimate railroad experience, the Galesburg, Illinois Railroad Race Train Show. That's pretty cool. Galesburg, that's a nice shot. Mm. That's a nice shot, Roger. Way to go. It's a very nice shot. Ken Ziska, I had a bad order tag, little projects on the railroad with a small post-it uh, post notes. I, I had bad order tag 
little projects on the railroad with small post-it notes. I spent the time listening to Virtual Hobby Shop 23 making these small fixes. Temporarily, on all the ta temporarily, all the tags are gone. See that? Uh, not only does uh, AML clutter up your brain, it also helps you get work done. Mm -hmm. I, I recommend the Virtual Hobby Shop podcast. They are very enjoyable. Well, thank you very much. Who's your favorite, Ken? Uh, I, am vo I am volunteering the rest of the week at the LPGA Championship here in Minnesota. I will cheer for the Canadian golfer, Brooke Henderson, just for Lionel and Bruce. Thanks, Ken. We love you, too. Oh, look at this. Uh, Neil Erickson, dime for scale as a lapel pin for the fashionably dressed. So it's a magnet, and he's got a dime on the other side. That's pretty slick, actually. Neil Erickson is getting completely out of control with that thing. Yep. He yeah. needs to be stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I will stop here. This is a good one to stop. Sean Besher, a work trip to uh, to a city I don't usually go to resulted in a perfect broom field with a giant blizzard dime for scale. That's right. He's got a gi a full-size blizzard there. And a that perfect spoon looks like it's doing around. a belly flop into the blizzard. Yeah, yeah. It's splashing stuff over the yeah. sides. Yeah. There's only, there's only one thing wrong. What's that? The blizzard is not inverted. Mm. Mm. But uh, is that really is that really it's part of June? It may have been hot. It may have been ready to yeah. fall out. And is that really that's... part of the AML? Really, the dime for no. scale is where we're at. Yeah. No, yeah, no, it counts. I'm just it's it's a minor point. Yeah. Plus, yeah. it's it's not hot out because it looks like he's got a turtleneck on underneath that shirt. Well, it might... nah, it's a t-shirt. Yeah, t-shirt. The underneath yeah. his uniform. Anyways, uh, Sean, as far as I'm concerned. That's a beautiful picture. It's yeah. an awesome blizzard. It's a great, it's a beautiful dime for scale right there, smack in the middle. Very much like Jordan's. It's a beautiful uh, mm. application. That's a and it's backwards. And it's backwards, which is perfect. What's backwards? The photograph. When was the last the time you went to QD? Well, I, I <laughs> get that. <laughs> it, 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 got, it got a Draslib. <laughs> <laughs> I like an Oreo cookie Draslib, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, Sean. Sean, I want to publicly apologize for the rest of the crew. I understand you went to a lot of effort to take this picture. I understand it's out of your control because some phones take pictures backwards. As with my iPhone Seven, when I do FaceTime, everything is backwards. Uh, and I and uh, and of course. You sure, Sean? Uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, and of course, Sean. As with you in this particular picture, it's pointed out to me by these knuckleheads that everything is backwards, and I they they go right past the effort, right past the oh, no, effort. I'm, no, the I'm, efforts, the effort's what, awesome. That, yeah, that's oh, why hey, I was too late. Like, I, hey, too late. That's what I said. I wasn't criticizing it. I was uh, <laughs> applauding his uh, uh, creativity. Picture. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love a good Draslib. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> belly flopping spoon. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We're done. We yeah, we're safety. He's got to get a safe glass. Oh, yeah. Get that spoon in the eye. He's not careful. So we made a what? We made a two and a half months. We got, pro, two, two we got five more. Five more posts, and we'll be in July. All yeah, right. Let's go. All let's right. Go, let's go. All right. Okay. Okay. I've lost control. Morgan Pavia, listening to the latest virtual hobby shop. I don't think we're in Canada anymore. So it's uh, Morgan Pavia that works as uh, a CP, CBP guard, Customs and Border Patrol. And uh, it's somewhere in uh, the darkness of Arizona. Somewhere in the southern border. Somewhere in the southern border, the darkness of the night in Arizona. Jordan Kramer, while out doing some rail fanning today while listening to Virtual Hobby Shop number 23, and while the discussion was going on, I took this photo. That's pretty cool. Some uh, car yeah. racks there. What is this? Brooks Willig, a, tr a trio of dogs. Regular dog with chili. Queso? Queso. Queso. I can't read. Beer brought with mustard and relish. Bacon cheddar dog with mustard. Perfect. Mm. That one Yum. in the middle looks tasty. <clears throat> yeah, that brat looks pretty good. The one in the middle looks like he's put ice cream on it. That would be brown, nice brown that's mustard and relish, yeah. Maybe is that what that is? No, that's the chili. Key, key, uh, that's what I would say. Oh, okay, maybe. Yeah, that's the queso. If you, if you can't identify, if it takes three guys to identify it, probably you shouldn't eat it. 
It's Nutella. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nutella. That's what it looks like. <laughs> there Nutella. You go. That's cute. <laughs> uh, here's one from our old buddy Martin Jenkins. The, fin- the wonder from down under. Yeah. I wonder from down under. Uh, finished setup of the Gold Coast Show. 45 stands this year. Here's the moderately sized Lego layout. That's pretty that's good pretty Lego. Cool. Layout. Wow. Yeah, that's beautiful. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Has, Mar- has Martin been working on it? Had his eyebrows done? Well, yeah, maybe. I think it's hard to say. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, they're nicely coiffed. Yeah, they're yeah. Right. yeah. I think he spends a lot maybe of time. Had, in. Maybe he had to have, go in and have them uh, Wax. groomed because on June 29th, I'm sure it was bloody hot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He has them waxed and then they melt. Wait, <laughs> is, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be winter? Yeah, it'd be Play cool. Along with a stinking joke, Jacobs. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Corporate, corporate, corporate for sure. You should have gone to me. You should have thrown that one to me, Joe. Yeah. Well, I did. It went right through your hands and landed in uh, Tom's. <laughs> yeah. landed, went right through your arms and landed in Tom's hands. Yeah. Interception, pick six, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can see uh, Tom High stepping into the uh, into just, the end zone just now. Just strutting, just strutting, man. Hopefully yep. he doesn't drop the football on the one yard line. Yes, <laughs> or spike the football on the one yard line. <laughs> I still say we should have ball hockey at the at the Tom Stock. Uh, listening to All Star Variety Hour number Jordan Kramer. Listening to All Star Variety Hour number five while out rail fanning. Got new license plates, and now I can keep the babes off the car. Off the car, I think that'll draw the f- babes to the car. And you can't keep them can't. off the car. Can't oh. keep. Can't keep. Now I can't keep them off the car. Hey, hey Lionel, I've got a question for you. Yeah. Have you got your screen on like hundred uh, percent size? Yeah. No. Maybe you want to bump it up to like one fifty or something. No, I can't do that when I'm doing uh, Facebook for some reason. Or I tried to, and it won't. It won't increase. I don't know why. Hmm. Probably because I'm hitting the wrong far. <laughs> Top shelf uh, where grandma keeps the cookies. Put the puck uh, back in the net, eh? Yeah, put the puck in the bag. Look at that. It does work. I got it working. Well, we're at the end of the show, and I got it working. Wow, perfect. Write, write yeah. down what you did, so for next time. All I did was hit the button with, oh, a, little more, with a little more gusto. Ah. E for, e for effort. Yeah. Uh, listening, and there it is. Anyways, that's the last one. June 30th, listening to the All-Star Variety Hour. Number five, while out rail fanning, got new license plates, and now I can't keep the babes off the car. And this is very cool. Uh, Jordan Kramer, uh, our sometime producer has AM Ohio tags that say AML fan. Hmm. And let's not forget Morgan Pavia, who has Arizona tags that say AML 20 and the 20 references his super fan number. Hmm. And, hmm. uh, and, uh, Jordan has a, a, a modeler's life sticker in the back window. All very cool. Jordan. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. All right. That's it. I think we're done. Did that uh, Kel- three months, baby. Yeah, we did three months pretty much, didn't we? Hot diggity dog. I think we can take a break now. Now we'll go back to working on fans of the pot. Okay, let's have a meeting right now. Uh-huh. Okay, let's decide we're next week or the week after. Probably next week we'll at least do one show of fans of the podcast. Let's decide right now. How are we going to attack that? Because we can't possibly read every post. I think we do what you've been doing, where we we sort of breeze over the ones that really we've either seen before or they've been problem posted is we, too much. The problem <laughs> is we're not really breezing over, though. Well, it's because we're having a great time. Yeah, like I keep kind of reading them all, and that's not really helping anything. We probably just need to designate one person to, uh, to, con- to con- uh, continuously say, keep it moving, keep it moving, come on. Yeah, Move yeah on. that's true. Who would we that's say? What? Like we did that for practice, didn't we? I like, like, I'm looking at it for just from today, just now. 33 minutes ago, Brian Doherty posted, listening to Viewer Mail 71. Then Bruce Wilson posted a real cool picture of uh, uh, firefighting from a really cool plane. 
Uh, well, we got to come up with something something good how to get through all this because there is like so many posts just from today. Let me see. Okay, let me just look at this. On the fans page, there are now, how many uh, fans do we have? 326 members of this page. And we had a post 33 minutes ago, two hours ago, uh, one hour ago, uh, four hours ago, six hours ago. Man, 11 hours ago. There's like, there's been a bazillion posts just in the last seven hours ago. There's been a five hours ago. There's been a bazillion posts just in the last 24 hours. This is crazy. I think what you should do is you should delegate since, uh, yeah. since Mr. Atkins created yeah. this situation, let mm -hmm. him read them all. Yeah. No, I don't think we, I don't, that's not going to work. So this, this <laughs> just in. This just in from Seattle. They've possibly came up with a name. <gasps> What'd they go with? Well, they base they're basing this information on the fact that they've chose their color for their shirts. Okay, which is Seattle Salmon. what? Seattle what? Oh, sorry, the hockey team, the new hockey team. In the AHL? No, the NHL. Okay. Well you gotta you gotta describe I'm sorry. I'm this sorry. stuff. That's, that's why I'm not that's why I'm sorry, I'm not in control. Um the color is salmon pink. Oh, the salmon bellies. No, Seattle sockeyes probably. Sock oh, that'd be good sockeyes. Oh, that's, yeah. not, that's not bad, Seattle sockeyes. No, except unfortunately, the joke will immediately go. Somebody's going to get socked in the eye. But yeah, yeah, that's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. Their mascot, their, their mascot is going to be like a uh, woolen sock with googly eyes on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good. Then we, can, then we can sue for copyright infringement yeah, and make yeah. millions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can get some paid staff, Lionel. <clears throat> yeah, that's no, true. Who's got yep. and Igor and Young Frankenstein? Either that or, or Little Willie is, is uh, working on the, the QT as their mascot. <laughs> I'm scrolling backwards now just, for the, just to see. And it's very rarely are any of these photos worth skipping over. Like, we got to come up with something here, boys. Like you can't just you just can't pawn this off and go oh well. Uh, I think we do. I I my vote is we just do the same thing we're doing here. We read through them and we just do the best we can. Yeah, that's it. Because everybody enjoys it. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. And I and every time I'm at work and I'm listening, they're all looking at me. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but your, pro know, your problem is I'm listening to the podcast. Your problem is the same as mine. You enjoy the sound of your own voice. Uh, no, actually, no. <laughs> uh, I cringe. I cringe sometimes. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I cringe when you're talking too. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. All right, Kelly, give out the uh, email address. Okay, if you want to reach us by the wonders of email, our email address is modelerslife at gmail.com. That's one L in modeler like NHL, not two L's like Kelly. Wow, nice one. Wow. Yeah. That might nice. be one of your better ones yet. Nice save. Yeah, nice one. Well done. Uh, it makes we up for the other one. <laughs> no. You got it. You got I got a long way to go. Yeah, you got miles. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're almost ready for the move to AAA. Yeah, yeah. yeah and we have a website, amodelerslife.com. Uh, if you go there, you'll find out all kinds of stuff about the podcast. So it's amodelerslife.com. Please go there and have fun looking around the pod, the website. Do any of you guys ever go to the website? Yes. Yep. I went yes. there the other day. Okay, cool. Joe? Yes. Your microphone has been working so well. Would you like to uh, like like to handle the last part? Sure. All right. So remember, remember, a Modeler's Life podcast is considered marginally adequate by six out of ten female motorcycle cops. <laughs>